Hi, I'm Shella Vett with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a muffin tin roll the dice activity. This is a great math activity, easy to set up. You'll need to have a muffin tin or a muffin tray with 12 sections in it and you need to have um, a die or dice and something you can use to cover up the numbers with or use for counting depending which way you want to do this activity. In my tray I have numbers 1 through 12 but if you're using just a single die then you want to have two sets of one through six in your, your tray. If you're using two, um, the smallest number you could have is two, and the largest number would be 12. And there's 12 spots, but it's only 11 numbers. So you could either include another number or leave a section of the tray blank for that. And it's totally up to you how you want to do that. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this activity. Um, numbers do not have to be in order. It's totally up to you, again, the way you would want to set that up. If you're going to do just a roll and cover activity, the child would take the die, roll it, and whatever number is on there, they would cover up in their tray, and I already have that covered up in here. Um, so they would cover up the number two, and they would continue that until all the numbers were covered up. So we're just going to cover up the number two. If you're going to do a roll and count activity on here, the child would look at the die. There's four on here. They would find the number four, which again is probably covered up. Yep, it's covered up already. And they would take whatever they're using for counters and then they would put in four for the counting activity. So four in the dice, four in the tray, and four items in the muffin tin section. You could do it both ways. You could have them start by just doing a cover up activity and then um, second round do a counting activity totally up to you. Um, these are just plastic uh, counting coins from le learning resources. Um, I will also include, if you do not have access to anything like that or anything small that you would like to count or use to cover up the numbers in the tray, uh, I will include uh, circles about this size that you just print on cardstock paper, cut out, and laminate, and then you could use it that way. Don't, you do not have to. You can use whatever you have available to you that you think the children would enjoy using. It's totally up to you. For a muffin tin roll the dice activity, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.